Throwing metal poles at us. Cruiser 50, give me DSO up here now! DSO! The desperation is clear in the voices of Capitol Police as the riotous mob begins to storm the Capitol. <laughs> House impeachment managers laid out the timeline of the insurrection through never seen before video from surveillance cameras inside the Capitol, along with Trump's own words. Democrats argued that the events of January 6th had been building for some time. The evidence shows clearly that this mob was provoked over many months by Donald J. Trump. Democrats contend that Trump led his supporters into a frenzy over his assertions that he actually won the election. The only way we're going to lose this election is if the election is rigged. Remember that. The only way they can take this election away from us is if this is a rigged election. We're going to win this election. It's a rigged election. It's the only way we're going to lose. And when they were primed, and angry and ready to fight, he escalated and channeled their rage with a call to arms. Show up on January 6th. Through graphic evidence and FBI memos, the Democrats noted that this angry mob had deadly intentions. They said that anyone they got their hands on, they would have killed, including Nancy Pelosi. Where are you, Nancy? We're looking for you. They would have killed Vice President Mike Pence, if given the chance. Free Mike Pence! Free Mike Pence! Vice President Pence, who rejected Trump's demand not to certify the electoral vote, was quickly escorted to safety with his family. Senator Mitt Romney, heading in one direction, stopped by a security guard and led to a safe location, as was Democratic Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. Donald Trump surrendered his role as Commander-in-Chief and became the inciter in chief. Democrats who continue with one more day of arguments before Trump's attorneys present their case, they're out to prove that the 45th president's actions were certainly an impeachable offense. This case is much worse than someone who falsely shouts fire in a crowded theater. It's more like a case where the town fire chief, who's paid to put out fires, sends a mob not to yell fire in a crowded theater, but to actually set the theater on fire. Now, there's no question that the Democrats did deliver a very dramatic and very compelling argument in their first day of argument, the first of two days of arguments. The big question is whether the Republican senators were listening. So far, only six of the 50 Republican senators have said they favor uh, the impeachment. Uh, they need a two-thirds vote. 17 Republican senators are required to find Donald Trump guilty in this impeachment trial. I'm Marvin Scott, PIX11 News.